Welcome back to another episode of my Builder Spotlight series. Today, we're gonna to talk about, again, tokenized real estate. And in this case, we're gonna talk about a project called Block Square. But first, let's talk a little bit more about tokenized real estate and why we talk so much about it, why there's so much interest, and why there are so many projects that are involved in this type of initiative. So first off, as I've mentioned before, and it's worth noting again, is real estate is the largest asset class in the world. Everybody at any level, whether they own real estate or not, can appreciate the importance of shelter and what that means. And they equate a value to that. So whether they're renting or just have a place to stay, they realize there's a value proposition there. And for the longest time, the largest asset class has driven a significant amount of wealth. So clearly real estate makes a lot of sense just from the footprint and the fact that it's equally across uh, the entire planet, an important asset. So the other thing is, aside from that universal aspect of it being the largest, is it's also arguably the most cumbersome to transact and to purchase. So lots of intermediaries, lots of paperwork, lots of uh, checks and balances, a lot of people you have to trust, and a lot of paperwork, and a lot of fees that, that happen throughout that process. So blockchain solves nearly all of these issues. Now, it doesn't solve the legal issue of having native on-chain real estate. We still typically have a double ledger where there's a legal uh, representation still at the local jurisdiction where uh, real estate is recorded, but deeds can still deeds can be represented on-chain with NFTs and other vehicles now. So it is a really exciting time for real estate as a tokenization effort and with the use of blockchain. So with all that said, I just wanted to kind of talk a little bit about where this, the opportunity is with this and why I feel Block, Block Square fits in really nicely. I had Block Square, I had the CEO, Dennis, on my podcast recently, so I, I recommend you check that out. But I want to talk specifically today about their Ocean Point launch pad and specifically about their project in a shorter form format here. So first off, Block Square has been around since 2017, so this is not something that they just started off trying to do or think this is a shining object in the tokenization RWA space. They've been very diligent for almost five years now, working through all of these issues, or actually, I take that back, over five years, uh, doing all of this, and they've been live for, for five years. They've reached a milestone of over 100 million in real estate tokenized, which is a huge milestone. They have a team of 35, uh, their CEO, Dennis, an amazing aspect of, of that growth and the, the initial uh, partnership between himself, Victor, the CTO, and Peter, the uh, compliance and legal aspects, really is the right balance of the right team and the right footprint to get started. And I mentioned they're 35 people strong now. Their C CMO also comes from uh, several large enterprises, several successful enterprises and businesses, Julia. So I've had a really uh, exciting time working with their team as well as meeting them in person at Consensus. So I do feel very strongly about what they're building and what they're doing. So that said, I'm gonna share my screen and just walk you through some of the new things they're doing. But I wanted to just give you this preface because I really wanted my audience to understand how important this opportunity is with real estate tokenization, what it's solving, and specifically how Block Square is fitting in. So I'm gonna share my screen, but just to give you the quick preface, they are building out a, and they've built out a tokenization platform for anybody to, to tokenize properties. They also have a white label version. So I'm gonna walk you through some of that here in a moment, and let's jump in. Okay, so now we're on the Block Square homepage, and I'm just gonna briefly go over their existing product, what they're doing, and the complete use case. And then we're gonna jump into their new launch, which is their launch pads called Ocean Point, the Ocean Point DAO, and how that brings together their entire ecosystem from providing infrastructure for real estate tokenization to matching that up into a launchpad platform where you have backers and supporters, and essentially the entire flywheel and the entire ecosystem works cohesively together and also in a very DeFi-related manner, which is really exciting. So I'm gonna get into that. But as you can see from their homepage, it's very clear what they do is tokenization infrastructure for real estate. And as I mentioned in the intro, they do this for businesses of all types, all sizes, 
from startups to large enterprises. I mentioned about a portfolio of long-term care facilities. They've done commercial buildings, groupings of them. They've done single family homes and everything in between. And what they're providing is a complete end-to-end -end solution, a portal, a no-code solution, and the APIs to digitize the value of real estate properties. And they're allowing these investment investor investors, family offices, portfolios, whatever you want to call them, whoever's coming into their platform, it allows them to be experts at what they're doing. And that's real estate. They are not experts in tech stack. They're not experts in tokenization. And they're not, they generally don't have any interest in doing that part of it. So Block Square has taken all of that headache off of their their plate and provided them a complete software as a solution software as a service type solution where they're able to tokenize their properties manage them etc and i'll show you a couple uh, slides here in a moment that show you that but that also connects to people on the block square network the community which is also uh, very active within the ecosystem because they have a bst token that keeps a lot of that the economics of the ecosystem working very smoothly from the utility factors of the bst token to the staking mechanisms rewards and also the ability to participate in uh, other uh, irl related activities and earn bst because they also have launched a ambassador program which is an aside but to evangelize the the aspects of tokenization across the globe not just for real estate but just around all of these topics that people are getting very excited about so as i just want to show you a couple more things on their home page that i think is important uh, one they're on ethereum and the typical uh, breakdown of when a property is is tokenized is it would be converted into a hundred thousand tokens and this can be either partially or in full and it's obviously going to provide investors that transparent and standardized digitization process they're looking for. And it's going to um, comply with any of the applicable legal ownership requirements. So that's all taken care of as well. And again, they're providing this por portal, which I'm showing you now, which requires no coding. This is very Web 2, which is what the beauty of Web 3 is when you can stop talking about blockchain and, and all those things and just making it very simple and solve problems. And there are real estate portfolios that see the benefit of tokenization. It opens a window into new funding, opens a window into a new community, and it opens up the opportunity and democratization of fractionalization of properties as well. So the unlock can be quite significant, but you need a community. And, and BlockSquare has done an exciting and an amazing job at really building community. The ambassador program I just mentioned earlier is just one example of that. But They've built an amazing software and they've bolted on a, an amazing community to go with it, which you can't do just one or the other. You know, a great community without delivering any real utility. We know that what that's called. That's called a meme coin that doesn't always work <laughs> or work out most of the time. And if you have just straight utility, but you don't have community, then you have no demand, no distribution. So BlockSquare has done an, an exceptional job with that in my opinion, and, and I definitely love how they're moving this now to the next phase, which I'll get into, which is the ocean point of the launch pads and then really tying this whole ecosystem together. Very similar to a Kickstarter, uh, which is the, the largest and the most well-known over the years. There's many variations now these days other than Kickstarter, but Kickstarter is a uh, ecosystem, a marketplace, similar, a launch pad where you can bring your idea, bring your product, find backers and that's very similar to what i'll talk about with ocean point in just a moment but lastly just to close the loop here with what they're doing on the software is they're providing this no code solution so they're providing something that's just like using web2 it allows these real estate folks to be the experts they are in real estate it allows them to kyc people have all the administrative tools at their fingertips <clears throat> and onboard all their people that they need and be able to customize a portfolio specifically for their deals and for their portfolio. And of course, you can do all kinds of things like add your logo, branding, et cetera. So it's really an end-to-end -end solution that's provided there. And I love this graph too. I'll just touch on this really quickly and I'll get into their, their I'm just scrolling past that because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through their pricing now. But one of the interesting things I think 
when portfolios look at this is this isn't about tokenizing everything or tokenizing your entire portfolio. Tokenization usually is a percentage of a portfolio. And it, again, is a window into new investors, new opportunities. And it allows so many different things to unlock that were very difficult or, or are very cumbersome or difficult in the Web2 world because of all the paperwork and all the, the things that have to happen. This does open things up through tokenization to a significant bigger audience as well as a significantly uh, larger amount of funding opportunity. So I think that's really important to point out. Really quickly before I jump into the launch pad and everything, which is, which is the core part of this, let me just show you what I also love about what they're doing. They've built an amazing software, over 100 million uh, in real estate already tokenized. So it's working. It's more than a proof of concept. It's they're off to the races with proving this out with many new portfolios, which is where Ocean Point comes in. But what I love about what they're doing is they have a standard tokenization protocol and they have their prices very transparent. So for 5,900 euros, you can tokenize a each for each asset, you can tokenize that. And again, that's going to get you the 100,000 tokens, open up their portal, allow you to work through that for each asset that you do. Now, if you want a white label and you want the uh, distribution options and offerings and all of that, then of course that requires some customization based on your how big your portfolio is, all the things you're looking to do, what your marketplace would look like, etc. So those are things here, but very similar to what you'd see in a very um, software as a service web two business, which I love how they're doing this. The 5,900 euros is you know, probably about $6,300 USD. So not a bad price for uh, bringing in a multi-million dollar uh, real estate asset and you're going to be able to use their software and do that. But where the unlock comes in and where the next steps come in is moving on to Ocean Point. So let's do that now. So I'm gonna go into Ocean Point and that's oceanpoint.fi. And this is where they've created these real world asset marketplaces and this launch pad. And this is something that's brand new right now. So I'm covering this because I met the team. And again, I've gone through this and vetted this project. And I love how they've really created this next step of tokenizing real world assets, particularly real estate, which I'm very fond of. And they've done this because they've now unlocked essentially a DeFi launch pad again a la kickstarter for web3 real estate assets so what they're doing here and i'm going to go over a quick blog post that they published regarding this announcement but basically they're they're allowing any real estate project portfolio family office etc to just like with kickstarter they submit and get vetted not everything just goes on kickstarter they make sure that your product is legitimate, it's, you know, it's compliant, it's you know, um, not offensive, whatever. Uh, similar to with this is the team at BlockSquare and the DAO, more importantly, so it's not just a centralized aspect, the Ocean Point DAO, which is uh, made up of all the holders of BST, and that community, which holds a large amount of BST, of course, which is their utility token, their governance token, now has the ability to make offerings now that they've they've matured so much as a company now they have the ability to offer these launch pads for portfolios to come in say they have a 15 million dollar uh, portfolio and they're in these types of asset classes they're in this location in, in the world this allows real estate to be micro and that's really the most important thing and that's their goal here and a lot of people don't think about that or they maybe have heard this that real estate's local and that's the thing is BlockScore's built the solution for the macro. They built the software, but they realize that real estate's local. So these marketplaces are very focused on supporting local projects. And they see this as essentially a network of marketplaces all around the world, because most of the times the, these real estate family offices and portfolios, they don't typically own properties all over the world. Most of the time they own a portfolio and it's, a set type of, of properties that are in a, or even specifically with tokenization, they only will tokenize like a, a grouping of properties, which usually have very similar aspects in many cases are even in the, in the same geographic area. And what makes that nice is that BST holders, the community, 
many of them are going to resonate with one project over another or one location over another just because we all have some of our own biases and interest in real estate, like what types of real estate, where it's located, et cetera, where we might want exposure, where we believe are good places to own real estate. So it makes perfect sense to build this out and bolt on this launch pad approach because that's ultimately how real estate works anyway. So this is just the homepage, just showing this briefly. Um, but what we are gonna do now, and that's where these marketplace pools will open up, is just take a quick look at their announcement. And again, I already mentioned most of this, but basically what they're doing with these marketplace pools is they're creating an innovative feature that empowers their participants. And again, this is a community of the uh, Ocean Point DAO, as well as the community within Block Square that own BST. They're able to stake their BST in the governance pool, these marketplace pools, and support emerging certified partners. So people that have submitted, been vetted, they have a, a portfolio they want to open a marketplace with, they're allowing the BST holders, against, again, just like backers would be on Kickstarter, to put their, their BST uh, toward a project that they want to, uh, want to support. So what's great about that is, again, it's very Web3, it's very community-driven, and it really creates that whole ecosystem of the uh, real estate supply and then the demand of the community and supporting projects that you really believe in and that you're, you're most interested in. So let's just scroll down here really quick as I wrap up. But again, I, I, I'll just reemphasize this, but their goal is to have this vast network of marketplaces. Real estate's local. They want to democratize real estate. They want to have these local regional real estate opportunities that really cater to their community. And this again ties back to their bigger initiative that they already were well in advance building out and that's their ambassador program. They have a million BST set aside and used as incentives to grow this ambassador program throughout the globe for people that are interested in tokenization. Um, and, and a lot of times, of course, initially they're starting this with the emphasis of real estate because that's uh, part of what their initiative is to start with. So that's really exciting how these pools work. I think we'll just talk a little bit about this is important. So again, this is a great way to gather that support from community, allow the community to stake their BST in support of a specific project. And you can see right here, uh, successful campaigns begin with a minimum deposit of 500 BST, and that's SBST, like staked BST, aiming to reach a threshold of 100,000 BST. And when they do that, they're gonna unlock community support and enhance incentives APY incentives, I should say, for that BST holder. So what's exciting about that, and again, I keep going back to the Kickstarter example because I think all of us can appreciate that. We probably have all backed something on Kickstarter or a similar Indiegogo or something similar, but you have to, most of the time, you have to put your money, money up, and even if that company doesn't deliver, you don't usually get it back, uh, or it's very difficult to get it back. In this case, the way the blocks were built this, and again, how Web3 solves a lot of these problems with trust and it converts it to truth, is they have a dual lock mechanism so that your staked BST is completely protected and the project has set KPIs and deliverables that they're promising to deliver, just like Kickstarter does. And what you get, in, if they reach the milestone, for example, if they reach this 100,000 BST, then your BST would be locked so that you can then participate in these enhanced uh, APY incentives that will be tied to this specific project. So again, that will vary, it'll be published, you'll know what you're gonna be getting, but it really enhances the buy pressure on BST, it enhances the utility of BST, but, and it also enhances and emphasizes that project to deliver for the community because all of this is going to be a balanced uh, ecosystem where the community members will be rewarded based on the project's deliverables and success and vice versa. So it's really exciting to see all this come out and really unfold because this not only democratizes real estate in the sense of just fractionalizing real estate, which is really a huge unlock, which is what BlockSquare did to begin with and has been doing for years, but this marketplace pool is really the next step and the next evolution of connecting up distribution marketplaces, backers, really your raving fans. I mean, I love to, you know, you, you think about, you've probably heard about the idea of 
uh, 100 true fans or 1,000 fans, uh, those types of metrics. This really is that same concept of really attaching to the community that really believes in your project and where you own real estate and where they want to put their 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 money. I mean, in this case, you know, it's BST is the token, but they're pledging that to obviously earn rewards and get uh, get get a higher APY on their investments because of that. So a couple things uh, to close out. I already mentioned a lot of this, like the dual lock mechanisms to really protect all parties. And they're also making sure that there's fair participation. So they are having a, they have it set up to have flexible contribution limits, allowing more communities to get involved without significant barriers. So there's not like a, uh, like a whale issue and you know it's almost thinking about like a whale mechanism type of thing so I think I really love how they, they've thought of all these ways to really democratize this this opportunity as well and allow the most flexible opportunity to, for people to get involved and lastly I think um, just hitting again on the benefits of the community members and then the marketplace operators so community members higher APY you're gonna you take your BST which you can buy in all, all, many of the uh, well-known exchanges or decentralized exchanges, and you can earn higher rewards. You can you can obviously stake them and back them towards these marketplace operators that you believe in, and it really opens up a significant amount of opportunities. Allows you to contribute even in a DAO ecosystem where you can provide uh, feedback for some of these innovative ideas. So there's there's quite a bit of things other than just getting financial incentives. So lastly, just tying this all together as a marketplace operator because People watching this video, I mean, it'll be anywhere from someone owning a real estate portfolio to you being the, the end user and, and benefit, benefiting from the rewards and backing of these projects. But as an operator, you're going to be able to streamline your onboarding path to tokenization. And what's exciting about this, if you, are, uh, if you go through the process and you're vetted and you're able to submit onto the marketplace and garner community support, you're able to fast track a significantly quicker path to tokenization and to a community. Because most of the time, and almost all the times, <laughs> is these real estate portfolios and family offices, I already mentioned this before, but it's worth noting, is there's no built-in community yet. So this is a great way to tap into a very active Web3 community that already is passionate about real estate and is very willing to use their BST to support your project. So this is an exciting next step. I'm very uh, happy to announce this and uh, pleased that I could cover this uh, new development within their ecosystem. And lastly, one of the benefits for the marketplace operators too and why they're gonna wanna do this, regardless if you're a marketplace operator or you're somebody that's looking to back a project, is this also allows these marketplace operators to launch if they get fully uh, backed without any fees in some cases, and in many cases, I guess, from what I understand. So this is another step in the right direction of really, if you're doing things right and you've, you've entered this as a marketplace operator and you do actually reach that threshold of 100,000 BST, for example, as I mentioned earlier, you're then able to launch with this no-code platform, all of these administrative tools, all of these uh, connectors into your, into your decentralized users and getting feedback from the community, being able to deliver on incentives, all of that in some cases without any fees at all because you've delivered on value first and you have a portfolio that people have that creates demand. So I think all this really just works really well as a complete ecosystem and I just want to say thanks again to the Blocksware community for building this out and giving a, a significant opportunity to both the entrepreneurial uh, deal flow real estate portfolio folks as well as just anybody that's looking to invest in real estate because this also opens up that DeFi opportunity where you can just buy BST and stake it and get involved here. So um, I look forward to seeing you guys on the platform and look forward to seeing uh, additional marketplaces get opened up in pools very soon. Well, there you have it. You have BlockSquare and the new exciting news of their Ocean Point launch pads coming right now so it's exciting uh, i know this was a builder spotlight series it was twice as long as my normal ones but i think it was well worth it i hope you appreciated the extra attention to detail and going through this because the milestone and the length of time that block square has been involved in doing this also was worthy of some extra time and just really 
emphasizing how well that they've executed on their original MVP project and product with their uh, marketplace tokenization infrastructure. But then now with the marketplace pools and the entire ecosystem that's you know, a la Kickstarter, Indiegogo type of feel, allowing that tokenization to now reap a significant amount of benefits and bolt on that community aspect and really that DeFi aspect, which is massive. And what's beautiful, really, in my opinion about this is they're doing this in a format that still feels very Web2, which I think is a huge benefit, not a negative. I think the most important things with Web3 projects is how do you build them without saying blockchain? How do you build them without saying crypto? How do you build them so that they're just things people want to use and get involved with? If people want to own real estate, they don't necessarily need to know all of the details and there's always going to be high information people that are going to want to know a little more. But generally speaking, most people just want, just like the investors, they want an easy UI. They just want a platform and a portal to manage all of this and get the benefits of tokenization. Just like an investor generally just wants the exposure to the yield, to the opportunity, to the ownership of that property that's in a location that they like and they love and they believe in and they believe in that opportunity to invest in real estate. So again, I commend the team for building something that really is a match made in heaven. I think that the next steps, of course, is us doing a follow-up video at some point and watching as we see some of these new projects unfold, new pools set up, new, new pools spun up and supported, backed and really get a, get a quick update where that looks. So I look forward to following the success and, and giving an update soon. And I look forward to seeing you there. I think this will be an exciting next step for real estate tokenization and uh, I encourage you to get involved. We'll see you there. See ya.